there crafty friends, it's Leslie Oman from Heffy Doodle and I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. I'm going to be making an interactive snail mail card. Yay, bring back snail mail. <laughs> I'm starting today with the Imperial Stitch Rectangle dies from Heffy Doodle and I'm going to cut one of these panels. This is the largest die which creates an A2 size stitched rectangle. And then I'm going to actually use the second largest die in this set and I'm going to cut down two of these panels and then for one of these I will be using this to build up another layer on my card front but for the second one of these smaller rectangles I'm actually going to be using that to cut down some borders. So I've grabbed one of these slope borders. This is from the Stitched Slopey Joes border die set and that's going to help me build up some layers of grass on the front of my card. So behind this I actually want to have some jaggedy grass here. So I'm grabbing the Grassy Lass grass border dies here. Now both the Slopey Joes and the Grassy Lass border dies, they follow the same curves. So you can use them together to create some awesome projects, some really great layering effects. So now I have both of these here. That's going to help me build up my, um, my card. But I want to have a, an interactive element. I want there to be a slider element. Now, I didn't have any slider dies to hand, but I did have this little banner die from the Heffy Doodle tag along set. So it does have a fishtail edge both on the left and on the right, but that's okay. I'll hold this down with a little bit of heavy memo tape and run this through my die cutting machine. And I'll just use a pair of scissors to uh, square off the edges where that banner is here, just so that I have a rectangular channel going through my card here. And you may have noticed that I've actually used my memo tip to secure that grass border um, panel to the front of this uh, rectangle here. Now I'm going to add some color so it actually looks like grass and I grabbed some Distress Oxides for that. This is the Twisted Citron color, which gives a nice, vibrant, bright green, almost like a lime green. And I'm going to also remember to add some to this furthest back panel, this A2 panel, which you'll be able to see as you peek through that rectangular channel that we've just created. Now I'm using a little bit of heavy Memo Tape to make sure I keep my fingers out of the wet ink. That's a good tip for you guys. And then for my sky, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I've grabbed this tan embossing mat and using the Heffy Doodle Swirly Cloud Dies, I'm running this through my um, die cutting machine with the tan mat to create an embossed cloud effect on my sky. Now before I actually add ink to my sky, I want to create some masks. So I've put some heavy memo tape right on top of some plain white cardstock and cut these out using the swirly cloud dies. And then very carefully, I'm going to take my tweezers and pull off the memo tape off that cardstock. This just makes it a lot easier to handle. And then I can put that right on top of the, the little embossed clouds on my sky. Now I didn't want a blue sky, I wanted a purple sky because, well, sometimes I just want to be weird. <laughs> and um, now that I have my masks in place, I can add some of this gorgeous uh, shaded lilac colour to my background to build up a really fun purple sky. These colours just remind me of Easter and springtime and I'm really ready for a little bit of sunshine, I don't know about you guys. Removing the mask is always my favourite bit, um, but then I'm going to actually stick down my grassy panel here using a little bit of wet adhesive. And I'm going to now work on the pullout section for my card. Now this is the Mark My Words bookmark dies from Heffy Doodle. 
And I'm actually going to use this to be the polite element on my card. And this other bookmark die, which has the circular bit on top, I'm actually going to use that to cut a notch on the right hand side of this panel so that it's a lot easier to get your thumb in there and pull out the, um, the little moving panel here. So let's stick down that little excess piece. And this is going to come out like this. Woohoo! I've added some twisted citron ink to that too so it blends in really nicely and looks really cohesive. Let's get stamping now. I'm using my Misty here so that I can stamp everything all together and I am combining two heavy little stamp sets. First of all, I'm using Big Bug Hugs for my little snail, the toadstools and the grassy um, knolls. Is it a knoll of grass? I think that's the right word. And I'm also using the Yappy Happy Mail stamp set for the mailbox and the letter there as well. When I have these stamped, I'm going to quickly color these in using some alcohol markers. I'm using the Spectrum Noir Tri Blends today and um, it makes it really easy and quick to color because you have three color tones all on one pen. It also takes up less space on your craft desk, which is a bonus for me. The other thing I really like about these pens is that the nib is actually, it's quite sturdy and it has a nice fine point on it. So you can definitely go in and add some detail to your images. And I added some dot details and some lines to the snail for some fun. When I have all my images colored in and I'm happy with them, I'm going to take my coordinating dies and stick this down in place with some heavy memo tape. This is a low tack tape. It will not damage your cardstock, especially after you've, after you've spent that time coloring them in so beautifully. It won't damage it as you remove it, but it will hold it in place for just long enough so that you can run it through your die cutting machine. So let's cut out all of these fun little images so that I can assemble my card. Now I want to raise up this front panel here so that there's enough room in the back to move that section in and out, that little bookmark um, piece in and out. So I'm using some strips of foam tape here, making sure that there is enough room for that bookmark piece to slide in and out. And I'll also add some up top here so it's nice and even. And then we can adhere this right on top of the panel that I have also prepared, the A2 panel, like this. And now I can slide this section right in here. Now I haven't forgotten about my other border here. I've added another strip of foam adhesive to the back so that I can layer this up just below the snail for some extra dimension. But I have to remember not to add the foam too close to the top because I do not want this panel to interfere with the movement of Mr. Snail because he has a very important journey uh, as he sends his letter to, I guess it must be one of his crafty friends. <laughs> Let's stick this mailbox over here on the right hand side. I use wet glue for the bottom and a little bit of foam adhesive for the top. And I'll add these little mushrooms, toadstools and the grassy knoll down here. And then for my snail, I've just taken a piece of a three millimeter foam tape and I'll stick this right onto the pull out element and then stick Mr. Snail right on top here. And now when I pull this out, he moves right over to the mailbox. Whee! Now I thought it would be extra fun to add a sentiment onto this um, pull out panel so that you can reveal it when you pull it out. And I've chosen some sentiments from the Yappy Happy Mail stamp set. So I want to ink this up and make it say sending happy mail because everybody loves receiving a little bit of happy mail. Why don't you let me know in the comments when was the last time you got some happy mail and what was it? <laughs> 
Now I want to make sure that people know that this is um, something that they pull out. So I've grabbed some red and white Baker's twine and I'll add this to the side of this panel because as it's a bookmark die, it already has a hole in there. So it's perfect for this. So we'll just tie this in a little knot and trim it off. And now it's really clear that you can pull that out. To finish off the card, I want to add a sentiment to the top. So I'm using the Friend Heavy Cuts die. And this is a piece of craft foam and I've stuck down some stick it adhesive to the back. So when I run this through my die cutting machine, I now have a die cut word that is sticky on the back. So once I remove the release paper on the back, it's like a sticker. So it's much easier to adhere. And I'm using a piercing tool just to help me position that down because it's rather sticky. I pulled out a stamp from the Veggie Patch stamp set to uh, stamp the word hello and I used the Twisted Citron Distress Oxide again to stamp that right onto the little cloud to finish off my card. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. I hope you have enjoyed the video today and now I guess I need to figure out who Mr. Snail is going to be sending his happy mail to. <laughs> Maybe it will be you. <laughs> Until next time, happy crafting you guys. Bye!